right, we're back here in Trails of Cold Steel. We are ready to begin chapter two. Here we go. So last time I complained about <laughs> not being able to report my quest. But good thing it wasn't needed. It's automatically completed after you defeat the monster. Wow, that's a lot of time skip. Late May. It's now late May. About the a month. The flowers that painted Trista's spring fields had faded, replaced by lush greenery and a refreshing breeze. Summer's about to begin. With the trials of last begin. month's field study behind us, we found ourselves caught up once more in the bustle of school life. So would that be the flow of the game? School life, field study, or free day? Explored the old schoolhouse. Both our combat training and academic studies continued to become more and more demanding. If you say so. But May also heralded the beginning of specialist classes, more befitting a military academy. Mm hmm. Are we going to do special activities? Okay, we're going to the classroom, it seems. The Orbal Revolution 50 years ago changed the way wars were fought forever. So this guy voiced Geo in Atelier, the Arland trilogy. I can tell from his voice. Nightheart. There are a number of reasons for this fundamental change, but four factors in particular that I would argue to be the most important. The first is the invention of orbital guns, cannons, and other weaponry. Gunpowder. The increased accuracy of these weapons, as well as their ease of maintenance and manufacture, instantly rendered all other firearms obsolete. Mm hmm okay. The second factor is the associated mechanization of the military. I'm gonna pause for a bit, just gonna check on some equipment stuff, make sure that we are properly recording. So give me a few seconds. I'll be back in a bit. Alright, I'm back. So we're still having this lecture by instructor not Dr. Nightheart. led to the formation of armored divisions made up of tanks and armored cars. Okay. The impact this new kind of tactical unit had on the battlefield, with its enhanced offense, defense, and mobility, cannot be overstated. Mechanical warfare. The third factor is the invention of airships. Warships that rely on the gravity manipulation ability of a flight field to remain in the air simply did not exist before the revolution. That's really featured a lot in uh, Trails in the Sky. The sudden addition of a whole new dimension to war, the sky, made countless new strategies viable that were previously unimaginable. And the last factor is the creation of an entirely new practical science, which may be the biggest, most important change of all. Without orbital technology, such a concept would scarcely even have been conceivable. But now we'd be virtually crippled without it. Okay. Reed Schwarzer, can you tell the class what that new scientific breakthrough was? There really is no context for the question, huh? I think it's gonna be this one. Let me take a look at my cheat sheet. Yes, it's this one. Because the others doesn't really require mechanical technology. Did she write the answer again? Now we're best friends. Soon to be love interest, huh? Class one and seven combined. Gender divided lessons, okay. So we're mixed with class one, the nobles. In the looks of it. Mm, we 
still haven't really interacted that much with Fee yet. I think she's the only one who we really haven't uh, meddled with. obvious they're talking about us? I mean, seriously. It stands to reason they'd be curious about our class. It's hard to blame them for that, at least. <laughs> well, Emma actually hasn't joined our party yet, as well. <laughs> I think you've whisked that plenty already. <laughs> wow, well, computer lessons, okay. Fancy laptops. Trapezoidal. I don't know what you call that. That's not a CPU. That's not really a monitor as well. Likewise. So that was lost right? at first, but it's slowly beginning to make more sense. Well, it is cutting edge technology here in Erebonia, so I think most people are confused until they've gotten used to it. Machius and Yusus both picked it up surprisingly quickly, though. That's not a very nice OS. That looks like DOS or a mainframe green screen. Yusus also seems to get the hang of things far quicker than most people, even if he's not interested in them at all. Which probably just adds insult to injury for Machias. Why, is Machias slow? They were. At one point, things almost took a violent turn. Alright, guys was the only one there. We were able to hold them back, but I don't think we could have kept him under control for long if Instructor Sarah hadn't arrived. So she knew. Really need to do something about them. She knew I about no it. That's why. why she quickly left Celtic. Green Schwarzer. Okay, who is that? Huh? Is that Patrick? Isn't he from class one? Yeah, the arrogant that is noble. Correct. Harms. My full name is Patrick T. High Arms. High Arms. I don't believe I need to say anything more than that. What? Are they prestigious? About as prestigious as they come. The High Armsies are one of the four great houses. I almost read that as one of the four great horses. Though no, they're slightly lower in rank than the Alboreas. <laughs> I'm sorry. I meant no offense. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I didn't come here to talk to commoners or foreigners. So what's up? I came to bring gladsome tidings to you, Reen Oh, because word of him being a noble has spread, huh? I am generously extending you welcome to make use of the accommodations on the third floor of the Student Union building. Now he's sucking up to Reen. The third floor? That's where the noble salon is, right? Your father may be a mere baron. But that still makes you a noble. And though you've had the misfortune of sharing a class with this riffraff... I heard this voice as well before, just trying to remember where it is. I have decided to use my good name as a member of the High Arms family to afford you the privilege of joining us. I do hope you appreciate it. Hmm, I'm trying to remember where that voice... Uh, who, who did this voice after also star at? This hardly strikes me as the best place to be recruiting new members. Uh, okay, hi there, Yusis. Yusis Salborea? I wasn't aware the third son of the High Arms family counted playing factions among his hobbies. If you wished for company in the salon, should you not have come to me first? You? Y you've been invited countless times. You, you simply choose not to come. Despite there being no shortage of second years practically begging for your company. I have no interest. <laughs> Suit yourself then. Who is this guy? It's a villain also in one of but those you, games. Schwarzer, make sure you think long and hard about this. If you care about your future, you need to start thinking about the connections you're making and the side you're taking. It's not really <sighs> putting up a good argument. He's certainly not that. shy. Club. <laughs> I wasn't trying to help you, but I did cause you some trouble during last month's field study, so no, that's all. Trouble? 
He wasn't Last there. Month's field study is he? Oh, uh, so okay. he feels partially responsible for his family's actions. Then. Sure. He must have been looking for a way to apologize to you. Huh. I guess he has a nice side after all. He's nice to us, except for Mackenzie <laughs> over there. Who's not who? Who has yet to become his best friend? Maybe by chapter five or four. Okay, so our next failed study is soon. First, we have a free day coming up. Another exam, of course. Bow. All right. So, so the first day is the lecture day. Second day is a free day. Third day is I don't know exam day, and then fourth day is our field day. Then we go on to the next month. That's Alyssa. Yeah, what's your problem? Hmm. Hi, Laura. Whenever we're alone together, she's very friendly, but when there are other people involved, she becomes mean. Machias is still here. <laughs> Don't talk to me, noble freak. Since when was it any of your business what I choose to do after class? Not especially. It's actually my fault for being deceived so <laughs> easily in the first place. There it is, because I'm a noble. Let's just say I haven't got a drop of noble blood in my veins. So I guess we're all in equal standing here. Save your breath. Whether you're a noble or not is beside the point. The bottom line is you lied to me. And I simply cannot trust those who lie. Did not really lie. That's all there is to it. Explain it to him. He did not lie, Reen. Uh, I'm... I'm sorry. No, please, think nothing of it. Intruding? I accidentally left one of my textbooks in my desk, so I came back to fetch it. Hey, Emma, can I ask you something? Or is she gonna ask? Is she the one gonna ask about the the uh, argument that we had? It is. Take a look. Okay, mathematics. Oh, <laughs> it's not for me. I promised to help Fee with her math studies. Does she really need help? I found this at a bookshop in town and thought it might be of some use to her. Which reminds me, I should really be going. I'm sure she's waiting for me by now. I'll see you later, Reen. Hey, see ya, Emma. So why are we still sitting down in this classroom? And don't worry. I'm sure Machias doesn't hate you or anything. If you can find some way of making him realize how you feel, I'm sure he'll understand. It's just getting through to him that might be tough. I gotta believe! 
let's stroll around town. Do we have bonding points that we can spend? Or is that for tomorrow? Let's chat with everybody. Mm. Okay, we still got a lot of folks here. So let's visit them first. Who are you? Oh, hello. Hi. Of course. Well, a school is always full of hotties. So, it's it's just regular boy or guy behavior. It's puberty. Everybody's horny. Do I know you? Oh, hi Becky And you? Mm -hmm. There's Elliot playing the violin And you are the, the leader, right? And our pianist here? She's a noble, but I guess she doesn't mind playing with the regular folk. That's nice of her. And this one is the food club, right? don't really know anybody from here, so I'm not gonna talk to you. And in here we have Gaius. Where's Gaius? Okay. So who else uh, can we find here? Go to the first floor and meet. Oh wait, a rooftop. Okay. Is that Alyssa? I think that's Alyssa. Hi there. Boo! What is it? Alright then. Let's find Emma. She should be here in the first floor. This song will actually not be out of place on a Persona soundtrack. Okay, I think that's the who is that? That's not a class president, right? It's the infirmary. First floor. Sorry, that I was looking at the wrong location. It's actually Emma here, as I mentioned earlier, and our teacher. Hi there. Oh, she's a fighter. Hi there, you're the right you're Reinhardt, right? Nightheart, sorry. I still hate the fact that Reen stops walking whenever he bumps objects. You know, he slows down. That gives me a lot of headache. I did not see Emma. Where is she? Where is Emma? She's supposed to be in the first room here. Maybe I just missed her. That was Emma, right? That is Emma. No, wait. That's not Emma. 
who is it? Is that our instructor? Okay, sorry, sorry guys. I got confused. Alright, let's visit Emma in the library. That's where she is. For some reason I thought instructor Sarah was a blonde. I'm mixing things up. She just left. Okay. Well, Fee is not. Well, Fee is actually here. She's in the old schoolhouse. Let's first head on over to visit Miss Toa. To the second floor we go. Nope. Hi there. Hi oh, wait. Oh yeah, you're Miss Toa. What's up? Are you getting used to life at the academy yet? Maybe. That's good to hear. By the way, tomorrow is another free day. Which means more student council really work. Are you help out again, like Instructor Sarah said? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rain. I really do appreciate it. What do I get in return? Let's visit Yusuf. And Yusuf is there. Do it! Alright, stay, stay yourself, use this. Then Laura is here at the swimming area, in the gymnasium. Men's locker room. Where is she? Hi, Laura. Hi there, Monica. Alright, I think that's everyone. So let's wait. Uh, oh, I can't go to town yet. Okay, so let's head over to the old schoolhouse. Talk to Fee. Are you inside? No, she's just sleeping here. Obviously. And she's now awake. Yeah, not if, especially if you're wearing that kind of outfit. She's still very mysterious. What? Mm hmm. I would believe that. Oh, because I solved their little tussle. I think that's everyone, right? Let's get out of here. Time to head to town. Okay, let's. I'm gonna go back to town next time. So, this was our class day. And next episode, we are going to do a bit of maybe some dorm scenes. And then, 
start our second free day here in Trails of Cold Steel. I'll see you guys then. <laughs>